What's up, creative? What's up, y'all? <laughs> this is PR Creative Studio, <clears throat> and today we are going to look at how to design a church flyer. Yes, yeah. Um, so kindly, when you, you, if you're this is your first time coming to this channel, I would like you to subscribe to the channel. Yeah, subscribe to the channel. We need your subscri subscription for more tutorials and for more I want to get us the channel out there doing well yeah so today as, as you come here you can see i have free graphic design resources i'll be uploading more very soon yeah so kindly then free website to download your stuff for your designs yes i have a lot here yeah and i'll be uploading more yeah this week so kindly subscribe to the channel uh without much ado let's get right into the video okay so these are size that we are going to use for today it is 11 10 inches by 12 inches yes 10 inches by 12 inches and we are going to create something simple something like something simple for a client yes so let's get right into the video so what you are going to do is you are going for the background and i'll do all to leave the link in the description for you guys to get a background so yes uh, i think yes the background is here i got this background from pinterest yes so let's scale it like so Skill this part to like so make sure it is really aligned like that all right yeah so let me go for another background i used that one is somewhere in my files yes so bear with me where is this dude man uh, I think it will be a yes so this one okay so we are going to scale this one to like that like that and then drag it to the top a little like so yes now you rasterize it right click here choose rasterize layer then let's come to our eraser tool and then clean some parts clean some parts like so yes so you are done this is what you are going to do you are going to set it to luminosity or I think soft light or soft light to do set it like so and then you add some Gaussian blur yes I think choose 12 or uh, 10 any of them will do Thing thing will do, yes. All right. Now, um, I want to just bring in some fire. Yes, this fire. Let me just open this guy up. Yeah. And select this fire. The sun, yes, the sun, and then increase it. Yeah, like so place it somewhere here like that and then we are good to go okay so now there is the i want the blue the background i used to be a little darker yes so I want, so this is what you can do um you come to you select the background you used and then you come to i mean the main background you come to image 
you come to adjustment and you choose levels yeah let me bring it here so you can see the effect so we have three options here yes so what you have to do is you hold the first one and drag it inside yes inside so i can give you that darker look a little i think setting it to 10 is okay yes hey today my machine is running very slow guys okay now we are done with our background let's lock everything like that okay so the program title is recharge yes recharge so we are just going to type the recharge and we are going to use um choplin today i'm going to use choplin and then we, once again choplin is a font family yes so you choose black we have a lot of that means I have bold and then I always want to use the black because it gives you that kind of bold look. Now let's set our color to white. Yes. And then let's start with our text. Hey God, today, why? Okay. Okay, so let's start with our typing, with our text. Uh, let me use caps. Recharge. Yes. Actually, the person wanted it this way, so. Yeah, there's too much space, so I'm gonna come here and reduce the spacing in the text like so I think this one is okay and then open it like that it's already center aligned so we yeah so I wanted this thing to be a, a bit raw real like that so what you're going to do is let me bring it down a little bit and reduce the size because I'll be putting in certain pictures in there. So what you're going to do is um is is a richer so I have to put something like um at a power sign, this power sign that is on our charges, phone charges, phone charges and everything. So I downloaded one from PNG, yes. I think it is here yeah so this one is black so i'm gonna make it position it in the middle like so let me reduce it a little position it in the middle <clears throat> like that now i want it to be very dramatic so what i'm going to do is i'm going to set the color overlay choose a color overlay and set it to red yes i think this red is okay uh -huh. yeah so now i want to create more fancy stuff in the design so i'll just duplicate it like so and uh, position it here and then i'll add motion i'll come to filter select the filter come to blur and add motion blur yes and i think the 43 40 or 43 is okay like that then i'll just select it again position it here like so let me rotate it a little rotate it like so reduce the size a little yes and uh, choose this one duplicate this one again bring it somewhere here it's too large let me reduce the size okay let me reduce the size bring it here 
let me select this one to duplicate bring it here like so we are good to go yes so um now i want to bring in the details and <clears throat> so sorry about that I'm going to bring in the details for the design and i always advise that you use more not more than two fonts in your design so what i'm going to use i mean the font i'm going to use is go bold go bold yes so choose our go bold go bold too is a font family guys always try to use a font family instead of using too many fonts in your design so let's let's type uh yeah so it's a sunday program so yeah we're going to type sunday short in short then yeah, sunday is 11th september september 2 in short and then you add your 2022 yes like so then you scale it down like so bring it in the middle then you duplicate the same text like so and type your time and it is uh, nine o'clock am sharp yes so you can reduce this one like so bring it up make sure that one to the center aligned let me just drag it up a little and then kennel it a little like that yes and then i'm going to bring the line to or if you want you can just um gosh. And just duplicate this one to bring it down like so and type in the name the venue and it is the royal palace behind behind la olympia bus So we just space out the text like so, yes, and then we are good to go and then reduce the size and place it here. Okay. Okay, so let's say you have some contacts, you just duplicate this one and just uh, write contacts like so and zero two four nine one two three seven seven one and slash zero five nine five uh two two eight zero three three yes we are done yes so you skill it small like that and you space them out a little like so and guys we are good to go now let's add um the preachers um, the preachers okay i'm coming i'm coming i'm coming i'm coming i'm coming i'm coming yes let's say you have this guy right here i'm coming i think there This is the host, yes. So I received this image from him, yeah. So, yeah, now guys, if you want to remove your backgrounds in simple step, this is what you have to do. You just click the image, right click on the image in the layer panel, rasterize it, and then you come to the property panel, it will give you quick actions like remove background, select subject, and view more. So, you just click on remove background and it will perform the magic for you. Yes, 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 it's loading, yes. Uh, today my machine is running very slow, yeah. So that's it, guys. You can see the background is gone nicely and 
we have something nice so let me bring this man here behind the text behind the caption the recharge yes and we are good to go so what you have to do is um you can see is shirt is showing in the check in the text yes so you just have to you know clear some parts so that it will not be visible like that like that yes like so yes let me add another person uh, I'm just using this for tutorial so I'm not going to use all the resources like that I'm just going to add add people like that so let me add this guy right here to the design actually that's the friend his friend so we are going to use the same procedure right click right still hey, rasterize the layer come to the property panel and choose remove background so it's going to take off the background like so and let me position him right behind the host like so and we are also going to clear some parts I and mean, increase the eraser clear some parts of this guy yes I want to change oh sorry guys I want to change the standing position so control T right click and choose flip horizontal and then we are good to go so let me drag this guy here a little and bring him top of him like so yes I think I have to clear some parts a little still showing today too yes yeah, so guys yeah and I have to add another person to the design yes so let me just quickly choose someone with a nice image yeah I'm just using any of them for tutorial so yeah I'm gonna add this man right here too for tutorial sick yes it's not actually not part of the program but I'm just doing this for tutorial so right click rasterize the layer and remove background yes and uh, we are good to go we are good to go yes so bring him here like so and bring him down to on top of the other guy like so and reduce the size a little and i'm going to clear some parts of this guy forgive me eh? my machine is running very slow today and damn okay so let's select all three of them and position them well position them well. i think this is okay um let me reduce their size a little and drag them i think this is okay yes so guys um this is what we have for today yes